cross multiplying to find our missing variable. This is a fact that I think you guys could look at this and probably figure it out without cross multiplying. What do you think the x is worth here? Go ahead, show me with your finger how much. Julio, how'd you get it? 25 is 1 fourth of 100. Anybody find it a different way? Okay, let's show with this fact that we know that cross multiplying works. I want you to find the pieces of this proportion that are diagonally across from each other so we can use cross products. Cross products means we're going to cross multiply. What is across from each other with the two numbers here? Okay, I want you to practice writing these with a parentheses to indicate multiplication. If I put an X there to show multiplication, it could start looking like the X we're trying to solve for. And if I put a point there, like I could write this like this, whoops, if I can write. Or I could write this like this. Those are different ways of showing multiplication. This one tends to get mistaken for looking like a decimal. And this one, because we're using an X in our problem, we just don't want to use that time symbol in this problem because it could get confused for an X. Make sense why we're using the parentheses? This equals the other two things across from it, which are 100x. The first thing we want to do is multiply the 25 times 4, which you all are telling me is 100 equals 100x. How do I get to the 1? I'm going to divide by 100. And I get a 1 on both sides, don't I? Because 100 divided by 100 is 1. 100 divided by 100 is 1x. But in math, we like to leave 1s invisible if we can. And so we usually tend to write this as just 1 equals x. That means I can go back to my original proportion and I can show that 25 over 100 is equal to 1 over 4 because I took that 1 equals x and I put it in where the x was. Thumbs up if that makes sense to you. Okay, turn your paper over. We spent some time yesterday setting up proportions, but we did not spend time solving them. I want you today to solve them. Notice what I have here is 22 times 100 equals 126 times x. What is 22 times 100 going to be? 2,200. I've already written the answer here, and when you divide both sides here by 126, I want you to see what shows up in your calculator and look at what I did with it. Stop. Put it down. And just use it. Did you guys see what happened with the calculator? What did I do, Musa? I rounded it up. So 17.5% is our answer. And I want you to go back to what our question was yesterday. What were we asked? What percent? And so make sure if it says what percent, you're putting the percent with the answer. This one is saying 81 is 56% of what? Notice I have a decimal as an answer again. Let's set this up as cross multiply.
81 times 100 is equal to 56x. When I do 81 times 100, I'm going to get a big number in my calculator. 8100 is equal to 56x. What do I divide by? Mm -hmm. Divide both sides by 56. Because we know 56 over 56 is 1 and we leave it invisible, we have equals x. What is 8100 divided by 56? Did you have to round or is it exact 0.6? Okay, we're going to just go to one decimal. So if it's five or over, you're going to round up for the second decimal. If it's four or less, you're going to just leave it where it is. Okay? I'm going to leave this here. We did solve this one yesterday. We set these up. I want you to spend some time setting up the others, if you haven't finished, and solving. Mine is here for checking, but I'd like you to try setting them up on your own first, okay?